There are two interesting news stories that have popped up in the past couple of hours, uh, probably 24 I'd say, well, less than 24, 12 maybe. The first one's AMD CPU lineup that had been leaked and it shows the details on AMD's up and coming Ryzen CPU lineup. 17 SKUs and base clock frequencies that range from 3.0 gigahertz to 3.6 gigahertz. The 3.6 gigahertz isn't too mind blowing considering the Let's face it, the 4790K is based at 4. These leaks came from Cooler.com and showcase a wide range of CPU models and their nearest Intel competitors. Right now, it's unknown if these GPUs are supposed to be performance competitors or price competitors or a mixture of both, with the 8-core CPUs being listed as competitors for both Intel's 8-core 7900K and their 4-core 8-thread 7700K, as I already said. Right now, the specifications of these CPUs are not really known, apart from the base clock's speed range and each core thread count, with AMD's new CPU being separated into the R7, the R5, and the R3 series CPUs, with a naming scheme reminiscent of Intel's Core i series. AMD's R7 series CPUs are listed as 8 cores and 16 threads, with the R5 CPUs having either a 4 or 6 core configuration with SMT enabled. AMD's lower R3 series CPUs will have 4 cores and 4 threads SMT disabled. In this leak, there are no pricing information for AMD's Ryzen CPUs, though it is likely they will be hearing more from AMD within the next few weeks. As we already know, the Ryzen chips will launch very, very soon. Now, what makes this leak kind of confusing is the simple fact that I'm pretty sure AMD put it out that they were not doing 6 core CPUs which I felt would be a huge blunder on their part, simply because maybe people don't wanna go with the eight core 16 thread count. And this is all saying that all the eight cores have a 16 thread counts, which is really odd considering I'm pretty sure the last leak that popped up, it showed eight core eight thread counts and eight core 16 thread counts to kind of distinguish them from one another. At this point, it almost makes you wonder how much of a difference are we gonna see between the R1700 to the R1800X, when everything in this lineup is an eight core 16 thread count and the variation of base frequencies and boost frequencies, or we're just gonna say base frequencies right now is three to 3.6 gigahertz. I'm gonna make a wild guess and say that the base frequency would probably be three gigahertz. And most likely the X version is gonna be the one that's 3.6 gigahertz. I'm just taking a wild guess here, kind of following the whole Intel approach to things quite often with the K-series versus the non-K-series. The next one is quite interesting. I don't know if it's true, but there could possibly be some sort of credence to it. Back in December, several rumors have come to light, which claims that Intel has come into an agreement with AMD to use Radeon's iGPUs to power future Intel CPUs. These rumors come from hard OCP's Kyle Bennett, who in May reported that AMD's Radeon Technology Group, RTG, was in talks with Intel about supplying graphics IPs for future CPUs. At the time, this rumor is discounted by most people who thought it seemed that Intel's graphics division had been significantly downsized since the announcement an 11% reduction in their workforce back in April. Rumor has it that Intel may release their first Intel GPU with an integrated AMD GPU in the late 2017 with CPU using a separate Intel CPU die and an AMD GPU die. This effort will save Intel a lot of money which it spent on GPU and R&D and will give AMD some additional GPU market shares in consumer systems, all in one making this a clever move for both companies. Back in December, Kyle reappeared on the hard OCP forms with a new message stating that both companies have come to an agreement and that AMD's GPU tech will be used in future Intel integrated graphics solutions. And I quote, the license deal between AMD and Intel is signed and done for putting AMD GPU tech into Intel's iGPU. Intel will in no way want this to be public. What? Whoa, that would be weird, right? I mean, I guess it would be like, I don't know, it, it, like, I guess it could be somewhat scandalous. But on the other hand, I don't see what the big issue is. But then again, that could show that there's some sort of weakness or flaw in Intel and they're admitting that AMD has something on the ball. 
To anyone in the hardware world, this report comes as a massive shock given how AMD and Intel have been huge competitors in the GPU market for decades. This deal is almost like cats and dogs suddenly becoming friends. While the agreement between such fierce competitors may seem like an impossibility, both companies do have a lot to offer each other. With Intel looking to cheaply develop integrated graphics solutions and AMD's desire to return to a profitable and generate additional revenue from licensing deals. Right now, Intel does not offer powerful graphics hardware on their CPUs with Intel's flagship Skylake 6700K failing to be AMD's aging A10 7890K APU under the GPU intensive loads. With recent rumors suggesting that AMD's first Zen-based APUs will deliver GPU performance that is similar to an RX 460, it looks like Intel may have a difficult time competing especially given the recent layoffs in their GPU division. AMD has also recently made deals with Chinese competitors, giving them access to some of their CPU and IPUs to allow them to manufacture their own AMD-based CPUs this generation, $293 million for the company in cash, as well as future income from royalties moving forward. A similar deal will be made in the works with Intel and Radeon Technologies groups in order to generate revenue for AMD and provide Intel with new powerful GPU technologies. While this deal does seem very unlikely, it cannot be claimed that both companies cannot benefit here. Intel will likely not release these CPUs slash APUs with any form of AMD branding, but it would give AMD a significant boost in terms of market shares. Well, this rumor is insane. I mean, I can look at it and honestly say that I could see it happening. I don't see why Intel wouldn't do something like this, considering the integrated graphics on their CPUs are so lackluster, it's almost as if, why do they bother putting them on? Most people who buy an Intel CPU don't buy it for the integrated graphics. And honestly, I think it's a waste of space and resources. But, like if AMD's APUs are on par with one of their RX 460 GPUs, it'd be an absolute no-brainer for Intel not to work with them on this sort of thing. But then again, what the hell do I know? I'm not a businessman. And if they do strike up some sort of backroom deal, and all of a sudden Intel integrated graphics on their APUs just skyrocket in performance out of nowhere, you and I will know what happened there while the rest of the world will just sit there and go, Intel's done it again. But all honesty, I hope there is some sort of credence to this because AMD could definitely use the money. I just wish I had the money when AMD stocks dropped below like $2 because I would have bought a fuck ton. I knew Ryzen was coming, I knew Vega was coming, and now you got this going on in the consoles. Ah oh, man, it, it, somebody's probably making a lot of money. And hopefully this happens. AMD needs all the cash they can get. The more money they get, the more likely they will put into research and development. The more they can push graphics cards and the better their graphics cards get, the more competition we have in the market, the better the competition in the market, the less Nvidia can price gouge us all. That's just my personal feeling. I don't know about you, but I find this interesting and exciting. And hopefully there is some truth to it. Fingers crossed. Oh well, that should do it for me because I've wasted enough of your time. I can't actually give more of a fuck than me. If you feel like it, rate, comment, subscribe. If not, to hell with it. Who cares, right? Yeah, life's too short. And adios, bichachos.